I'm Aaron Kosharski. This is my mom, and this is my brother. And you're watching the brand new Store Episodes. <laughs> Greetings, everybody. I'm Eric Kisharski, and that, right there, that's a lot of 64 controllers. Woo! Excuse my floor, it's a little dirty. Uh, obviously, needs to be repainted. Anyway, so, yeah, my mom and brother went down to Miami, and they got me a bunch of GameCube official brand and uh, 64 controllers we also have in here uh, a Super Famicom and with the Super Famicom I got a bunch of Super Famicom controllers uh, I'm gonna go through and organize all of this and, and outline it and, um, and clean it I bought a bunch of these right here because we need to clean these bad boys off but yeah, this this is probably the biggest controller score we've had in a while. I got a hundred. I got about a hundred controllers here. Um, it it was it was it, it's an amazing deal, and the price I paid for them was really really cheap. It was uh, for for name brand sixty four controllers especially because sixty four and GameCube stuff is hot right now. Uh, anyway. So I'll see you guys in a second. I'm going to clean some of these off, and we're going to do a little bit of a breakdown. I'm going to count the controllers. Um, this is one of the biggest and best scores we've had in a while. So thumbs up for that. I'll see you guys in a second. I'm going to clean these off. I'll be right back. Woo! So uh, as you can see around me, there's controllers, 64 controllers, GameCube controllers, sprawled all out amongst the floor. Uh, I'm going to have to come back tomorrow and finish all this. I didn't even get halfway through. Those are the, those ones that are done and rubber banded and cleaned. But there's so many controllers. Uh, like I said, it was 74, 74, 64 controllers, 22 GameCube controllers, and four Super Famicom controllers. So I'm going to go home. It's getting dark out. But I'll see you guys tomorrow when we get back to these controllers. Woo! That is the last bit of controllers I have to do. I'm getting close to done. Um, got some water, some wet wipes, cleaning all these bad boys off. Some of them are just like that one right on top there. It's just completely stained, so I can't really do nothing about that. But, yep, I'm almost done, guys. This is day, uh, I don't even know what day it is. It's like the third day I've been at this. I didn't record anything yesterday because I didn't really get far enough in the process. There's a lot of stuff oh, I've been see. doing with the store. Uh... Mom in case here, she says hi. Anyway, I will see you guys in a second because I want to show you some of the highlights from this this uh, controller score of a lifetime. And what will go down as probably one of, if not the biggest controller pickups in N64 and GameCube history for Game Wizard. I don't know if I've ever picked up this many Nintendo brand controllers in one giant lot. Uh, there's around 100 controllers. I want to say there was like 77 total 64 controllers. There was about 22 total GameCube controllers uh, in this lot. Uh, some of which we have already sold. Uh, but take a look at that right there. There's a bunch of the 64 ones. We got some gold controllers. We got a bunch of the Japanese, yep, yep, thanks to Mama K. Some Japanese controllers that are multicolored. A bunch of the Japanese multicolored ones. There's some red ones, blue, uh, some black. There's a, the Japanese colors, there's a bunch of uh, multicolored ones. And obviously these are still, these are, the, these are still the same end pieces and everything. So it's not like none of it will work because it's all still Nintendo brand. And over here, these bad boys... These bad boys, the orange spices, I actually sold one of those recently, but look at this. I mean, there's a few missing, like thumbsticks and whatnot, but look at this one. Boom. So yeah, we got a bunch of those. There was even a wave bird thrown in. No receiver, unfortunately. But so yeah, all of those and all of these 
And yeah, that's a lot of controllers. And I now have a, a, a hookup for those, hopefully. I, I paid nowhere near. Like, I'm going to sell these for like $15 to $20 a piece for, for the most part. I was somebody buys in bulk, I'll work out a deal. But I didn't even pay anywhere close to that. So that was a good, a good sign, good sign of things to come. Um, and, yeah, so I'll see you guys next time I pick up something cool. Uh, and thank you for watching this little mini update. Those came from... Oh, hold on. Mama K wants to uh, interject here. Those came from Mama K on Off Rough on Facebook from a guy we met at a con in Miami. And that's where they came from. So... I'm not going to give any more info out. <laughs> but thanks to Mama K, Aaron got a ton load as some people call it, a crap load of controllers. Yes, thank you, Mama Kay. And one last little bit of information that I forgot to bring up is along with this lot, there was a uh, Super Famicom. This is the Japanese system. And, and no, this uh, Japanese version of Donkey Kong 64 was not, um, is not for that system. This is a Jap... Oh, by the way, if you want to know, the Japanese carts have the holes on the inside. Whereas, if it was an American cart, it would be on the outside. And also, it's in Japanese. So, try writing that. That's why it says JPN. Instead of, instead of, it says JPN. But yeah, you can still use this. You, you either have to break the system or swap the back of the cart. But anywho, yeah, so Super Famicom. Uh, and we got some Super Famicom controllers. The cords on these are a lot shorter than the American cords. So that that's kind of a little bit of a bummer. But yeah, look at all these controllers. This, like, this lot was so insanely nuts that uh, I'm stocked up on controllers for a while. I'm usually out of controllers. And when I sell out of these, I'm just going to head back down south and buy some more. So, yeah. And that, that's pretty much it for the update here in the store. I, nothing's really changed since the last time you guys have seen it. There's Amiibos, Nintendo games, Super Nintendo 64, Wii games. Uh, I did organize the PlayStation stuff. Th that The first wall is PS1. Second wall is PS2. Third wall is PS3. And yeah, you guessed it. Fourth wall is PS4. And then down there we have Xbox and 360. I did everything. I tried to do it in order, in order of everything. The way the game so yes, that came is. Out? Yes, yes, the way they came out. One, two, three, four. Oh, PS5 comes out hopefully at the end of this year. Uh, What's that new one? Uh, there's a new one coming out. It's a square box. It looks like a big square X piece. Xbox Series X that is also yes. coming out. So stay, stay tuned for that. Hopefully GameStop doesn't go completely under this year because I have some stocks invested. By the way, if you haven't checked it out, and, and no, I'm not being sponsored by Robinhood, but if you haven't checked it out yet, click the link. There's a link down below um, for my Robinhood account. If you join Robinhood with me, and together we will take on the stock market, I get a free stock, but not only do I get a free stock, you get a free stock. And one in like 150 or 200 people will get Facebook or, or Microsoft or a company that's like $150 a share. So if you get a $150 uh, share from using Robinhood, thank you, uh, or, or you're welcome for that. And hopefully maybe I'll get one of those too. So I'll see you next time from the store. Woo! Okay.